In this video, we're going to be talking about how to play part six, the classical gas. This is my favorite part of the song, my absolute favorite part. This is a mixture, again, of Tommy Emanuel's version. All the links are in the description below if you want to check out lots of other different versions to see exactly what I am combining together. It's very interesting, but let's jump into the video. Hey, my name is Evan DiDio and you're watching The Evan DiDio Show and like I said in the intro, in this video we're talking about part 6 to classical gas. This is my favorite part. Again, as I said in the intro, it's my favorite part. It didn't, I mean it took me a little while to learn, but to add these fun harmonics, it took just a little bit of time, but it was so worth it. I always enjoy playing these harmonics. In fact, it's what I look forward to when playing the song. It's almost immediately what I start playing whenever I just pick up a guitar. Now remember, a lot of the info I shared in the first video in this series is very important if you want to learn how to play this song. It's very important to know how to practice it correctly, to know how fast to go, and that kind of stuff, and I give a lot of important tips there. So that way it won't take you six months like it took me. It took me a while to do that. But again, thank you for joining me in this video. On this channel, I aim to bring fun, family-friendly guitar tutorials, music theory lessons, product reviews, and song lessons, and vlogs to make sure we can bring back music appreciation for this next generation. So like this video, share it with your friends, and share the channel with your friends, especially if you think they would be interested in learning some of the stuff I teach here on this channel. And you might be too, you never know. And remember, if you'd like to see the version of the song that I am teaching this from, I'll link it up in the corner right there, as well as in the description below, so that way you can go and check it out down there. But let's jump into this tutorial video. But let's jump into the tutorial section of this video. Alright guys, so this is very similar to what we've learned in the past. Except once we get to this spot, remember, and remember you can check out, I believe it's part three, I don't know, whatever it is, I'll link up in the corner right there. You can go and check that video out too if you want to learn that in depth. I'm not going to focus on that part right now. I'm going to get to the spot that we haven't worked on yet. So all you really have to add, now it's not as easy as it sounds. Instead of doing the, that part, rem instead of doing that, We're doing one, two, three hits. We're doing three hits. We're putting our finger, it could be whatever finger you want. I like doing my second finger on the 12th fret. And to do a harmonic, you just lightly lay down your finger on the strings. You don't have to press down at all. We're hitting the 12th fret. Then we're hitting the 7th fret. Now remember, you have to be right on the little metal fret there. And then we're coming back to the 12th fret. And then that's where we get... Now remember, whenever we're doing these harmonics though, it will be kind of hard to get back. So you've got to get really fast and it's really hard even after I've been practicing it for a while. You've got to keep it in front of you. Always practice. And you might not be able to do it that fast yet. That's totally okay. Do it at your own pace first and then you can start speeding up. start speeding it up like that. But let's get into the next section where after we go... We're gonna play an A sus right here and... And gradually build the dynamics and get a little bit louder. 
we're gonna come up here. Now this is this is interesting. We're doing something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay our first finger, we're gonna bar it across the ninth fret of the D, the G, and the B strings. And then put our pinky on the 12th fret of the high E string. Now our pinky, this is important, our pinky's gonna stay there the whole time. Another important thing to note, try your best to mute the A string with your first finger. Hear that? Here I'm muting it with my first finger. Just by barely touching it with the tip of my finger right there. Now we're also hitting the low E string throughout this whole thing. And those are three constants there, keeping your pinky there, muting the A string, and hitting the low E string. That is happening throughout this whole next process. Then you move your first finger up a half step to the 11th, 10th fret, boo, not the 11th. Then you move it up one more to the 11th. And then you move it up one more to the 12th, and this is where you can take your pinky off. And then we're gonna hit the 5th fret, our harmonic. Like that. And you can bend the guitar neck a little bit if you want to, don't overdo it. You could crack the neck and I don't want you doing that. Then we go back into the verse, which we'll talk more about that in the next video. Now the right hand in this, this is very interesting, the right hand, the strumming pattern. It doesn't have to exactly be in time, if you mess up that's okay, just keep working on it. But see, I don't even know what exactly it is I'm doing. It's just, it's a hard rhythm to figure out. So try slowing this video down in this next spot. I'm gonna play it again, but try going into the three dots or the playback speed and slowing this video down. that's how you do that part. Alright guys, that's it for part six. Yeah, six. Part six of this series. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button, hit subscribe if you aren't already, and ding the little bell to get notified whenever I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get to them. But next is part seven. Part seven is the end. This is it. It's already over. Uh, I wish I could give you a digital congratulations hat, like, you know, graduation hat to throw up into the uh, internet air. That's coming up in part seven though. Thank you again for watching this video. Make sure you share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.